docks here here. Twin support is actually not bad idea because he he is not that slow heroes. He, he he got around 295 movement speed right from the start. Once he got full, he's gonna get around you know um, 340 or 35. It's enough to reach the target. Plus he got a war cry. It's been a while since we see Sven support. Throwing pair like a two bounds and full of its storm hammer. Charge on Nova. Going in a little bit too deep for AU. Johnny got another storm of hammer. Archie ready to use a wave. Now Wu J TP down as well. That is four. And that is the first slot for Team Wu J. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. NJ, very nice first blood. And yep, the good thing of this Street Breaker is he can moving in very high speed back, he didn't even need a TP, just charge back. The lane wiper versus Queen of Pain. Good thing of wiper is he he's very tanky hero with his corsive skin, but the bad thing is he cannot gank because of his slow movement speed. It's really hard for him to um, to gank top and bottom. So in this case, if you pick wiper, you gotta accept. You know, you gotta understand that you are. Top and bottom lane need to be strong by itself. Cannot help. Unless he uses TP. Don't talk about the lane. Uh, I'm sorry, about the rune. The rune gonna be picked up by this Queen of Pain for sure. He's more faster, more mobility with a blink. Darkseer is here. I like that they use Darkseer and Street Breaker together. So that means whenever Darkseer go park and see the Street Breaker can, can transform himself into an offlane. Same thing to Darkseer. Look at this one. Dropping so low for AU. Here we go Storm Hammer. Waiting for the Nature Prophet to TP down. He's dropping low. Just one hit away from AU. Chopped him down by the Sven. Johnny 2000. Meanwhile, um, Jeez and Mohsan pick up some rune over there. Another nice gank by Wu J. Two times already that we saw NJ TP down and help teammates gank. You know, every time that I play in, in Southeast Asia MMR game and, and my team got Nature Prophet, it's always like zero contribution. Get your profit farming on the farming on the cliff, man. What a whole game! What are you doing over there? Oops, seems like he's still gonna diving in. Morphling got another kill on top, but strike back this time by AU, charging in and get rid of the Queen of Pain. Show you drop here.
gonna leave you guys at the fountain to relax. Calm down, guys. Can you feel the nature? Back to the game, guys. Um, PNC. I see playing nothing but one kill already. Uh, he's just gonna go for Ring of Freedom next, and not sure that he might go for a Lincoln Spear. And into the blade. I kind of don't like uh, morphing that gold Lincoln Phoenix. I would, I would love to see someone going for meta style and go for a full, full team fight item build meta style. Then maybe Eye of Scotty. Radiance top tower because the power in team fight of morphing is great very high with his um, weight form the damage when trying to wrap this guy up damage as rock three versus one human versus power storm hammer comes out and throwing pen like has curse on him as well ready to use the weight no and now Swain is actually the one who got caught the dnc is so well prepared about that gang what a couple gang you know one comes out uh, and the last uh, the hard carry tp down to get the last hit what a perfect counter gang by team tnc I don't know why Morphling didn't use his uh, waveform just now, he could have killed. Uh, he got caught, trying to do the waveform away. HP regen, is it gonna be enough? HP regen, still going in rocket rod. A lot of items come, uh, I'm sorry, a lot of damage coming out from this Raven, but he died anyway. Queen of Pain TP down, Sonic Wave, Scream of Pain, not done yet. Uh, making his dial. Banana got charged down though, double kill though, for standing Nana team on Wu J. It's pretty close fight attack. between two teams. I recovered a lot of damage to give, man. Like I told you guys, that this guy, this wiper, cannot help anything in the game. All he can do is just last hit in the creep and when and when he got the mechanism that's when he start uh, group up with the team and trying to push power. Now he can't help. Even though he he has a TP but his attack. movement speed is too slow to catch the fight. Bottom lane strike back. Gyrocopter got another kill on Sven. 
very smooth. Bring about Krila. Uh, this might be a gyrocopter with um with a dual aura. Bring about Krila and a drum, or maybe just go straight for something like Sentin Yacha, aim of Dominator. You know, in esports, especially in Dota 2 these days, coach is very important. Coach is a guy who who tell him some small tips, small yeah. techniques like uh, like how to use, how to buy all these small items, Ring of Quilla and Magic Wand, the item build. Yeah, it, it's becoming a real sport for now, for real esports. A curse, a storm hammer, waveform. That's it. You see how easy to kill a target with this, with this small plane? Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiance structures are fortified. Got two kills already for Marfling, and he's just gonna go for a ring and link the spear. That's rock. All down only this one. Yeah, like I told you guys that this guy is not going for for a drum. He's just gonna go straight for aim of dominator and, and send in Yasha, I believe. Aim of dominator and then just get the sand first. And then got sent in Yasha, go for BKP. Darkseer Oh, inside Darkseer gonna get ganked 3 heroes of team TNT Jumping in, catch Darkseer, locking down his crowd, follow up with the Storm Hammer Killing spree for Queen of Pain Seems so good game, this one from Boo J Unlike last game Fair of Terror under attack. Inside, he knows that that's another support inside. Taking a green. When trying so hard to gank around, Wiper Strike, Poison Attack, still hits on the Queen of Pain, just one hit, Vacuum back, maybe. Setting up the wall. But is that needed? Not even. Now he doesn't have a wall in a team fight. That's not actually a good wall for Darkseer though. Wiper, however, got another kill that's trying to whack him once again. Doing some damage with the Ion Shell. Hey, come on, give me a half, man. Archit, Archit, come here. Lock down the damn edge in a crowd. So many mistakes made by, by TNT this game, and that's the first 10 kills goes to Team Blue J. You know, he could have just land a wall here. It's gonna be a lot of effect. He trying to kill that low Dyer's HP Queen of Pain with just setting a wall on her and let the, let the illusion do the dark damage. I don't know man. That is actually a lot different having or not having a wall in team fight. Radiant's middle tower has been denied. Dyer's courier has been killed. Dyer's courier has been killed. The seeds of fortune. Now let's see. That is it's gonna be a fight between Gyrocopter vs. Marfling in late game. And what what do you guys think? Marfling of course is better in terms of split pushing. But in team fight I think Gyrocopter got more power with with his flag cannon, rocket barrage. Wuje draft is really good when it comes to when it comes to um, split pushing. They they have Nature Prophet, 
Queen of Pain and a Marvin. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So what TNC needs to do is once that that Viper got his mechanism or maybe something that's good for a team fight, they need to group up. They need to pack and just trying to push the tower for Team Wuj to come and fight at five because they are stronger. The reason that they keep losing in early game is because they didn't fight at 5, they're coming in one by one. And they always outnumbered because of that teleport of Nature Prophet. Nature Prophet with a drum, pretty good aura. And that ultimate Nature actually Star. killed someone. Made him inside on Nature Prophet, pop the drum, they're just gonna go. Where's the war cry? War cry Dyer's already. Middle tower is under attack. Double damage. Going back to the tower. 11 game score. That's attack. gonna be the second tower of the Dyer's UJ. middle tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Wait, bomb in. Radiant structures are fortified. Oh, Dyer's middle tower very is strong. Attack. It seems like a power, uh, Radiance power trade. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. I think it's a better trade for TNT. Radiance the middle tier two is more important than the bottom. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Okay. Three tower down for Team Mbuje and three as well for Team PNC. Trying to charge UJ, TP not in time. Back. Back and back. Damage. Got it. Now don't underestimate this guy Rockopter. He got very good stack from his support. Gotta give credit to uh, went to a spirit and he also can Radiant's use the hand of dominator to to capture the creeps to do his own stack radiance top tower has been denied wiper didn't go for a mechanism oh i'm sorry seems like darcy already got the mech my spinning image a big smoke for the first time from Team Wujay, leading by Queen of Pain. Gonna go for the next item, um, U Scepter. Now, smoke reveal, blinking, catching damage, already used his search away. No point chasing. Space create for Tee Hee. Morphling on top, almost got his Lincoln Sphere. I really like that he go for power triads and and bring up Aquila first instead of just having a brow boot and go straight for Lincoln Sphere. Um, this power triad is really important for Morphling, you can add because as you can see, he can switch from power, um, agility, strength, and int. It's really important to play Morphling when you have your. Uh, Your mob strength gain. Gotta keep it balanced. Viper. 1.3k gold in his pocket. Take a look at the graph. Kinda of surprised, the graph shows that Team TNC is ahead even though they are behind in terms of killing score.
Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I'm itch. Back to the farm, guys. It's gonna be a long game for sure. Unlike last game, it's only around 23 minutes. Mistake made by Team TNT. Outdrafted. I'm sorry, mistake made by Team Wujay. Outdrafted by TNT. Now top lane might be some action. Slide off his head like Cass and a play for him in, dropping a dance board. Archie is on killing three. Archie just got his blinking uh, spear and power spear. Let's see what is his next item. It might be Ethereal Blade or he, he can go for a Meta Style for a battle item build. Radiance top tower is under attack. Offling is one of the heroes that, wow, barely touched his hero. You know, he, he he never got a big buff or nerf. He's always there. It's just people that are forgetting him. One of the base out is ATM muffling is... Oh, look at that. And another... Man. I don't know why he's not keeping wall for a big team fight. Yeah, you got a kill, but you're gonna waste your wall like that. Anyway, wall is only around 100 second cooldown. It's not that long. Meta style already Dyer's for a viper. Is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Pretty weird. Man, before the game started, I was like, this is going to be an action packed game for sure. But it turns out, <laughs> even though Team TNC got a um, crit breaker, it don't want to do any risk by, by keep. Anyhow, parting, so this is gonna keep farming. Street Breaker even have a hand of fighters. Twin got a mechanism. Twin, I can boot on a mech. He's on his way to Guardian Grief. And I would love to see Twin with an Agony Scepter. Finally, a big small coming out from Team PNC, going in to the dire NC. Oops, they found that ex Nova, the poor witch doctor. Rocket Barrage. They know that TNC whole team on top, so they're just gonna push bottom. NJ, Nana, and Sven. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Her gift from the goddess. Well, after this match, there there is one more match. Pretty big match. I think the biggest match in the first round. Of course, the first was versus team, re, team Redemption. PR versus FD in best of three. So, yep. It would be great if you stay here till the end. They're just gonna farm for a while and maybe start to fight around 30 minutes, I think. Yeah. 
bit of pain going for heck. Break a charge on the witch doctor. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Now Wiper just got the tower on top, uh, bottom. Push more four heroes of Team PNC pushing past towers. Charging on Wu J and J swapping back. Wave of terror following up with the magic missile. 7 to 12 Radiant game score. Are fortified. GNC gonna Dyer's get this power for sure. Is under attack. Wiper. Dyer's bottom tower has Arch it. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. It's really annoying this this uh, morphling. You cannot stop him from taking your tower when you try to attack him, he just uses his web page. Anytime. Radiance middle tower is under attack. One of the best Southeast Asian Marfling players is Lakels from Team Signature Trust. Yesterday they won over Team Pang 5 2 to 0. In the quarter final, it's gonna be Signature Trust versus Mineski. The winner of this match will face the winner of First Departure and Team Redemption. Darkseer already got his Guardian 3. And yep, finally, they revealed themselves. It's gonna be a Rat Dota for sure from Team Wuje. Ninja Prophet with an Agonim Scepter. He didn't even care about some item to survive, like a Blink Dagger or even Shadow Blade. He's just gonna create tons of trains trying to push power it's gonna be a super rat morphing and queen of pain so we're gonna have the, the game gonna be like this for a while until this team PNC got an ages so they will have to force team J to join a big team fight But of course, TNT is better because they got an agent. Skyrocopter. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Someone TP back to defend his spirit breaker while the race is pushing. Three heroes of team DJ the base. I think they gotta defend this one. Went just got his guardian free. Where's Marfling? Marfling pushing top. I was dropping low, but take a look at this fight first. They already got the tier 3 tower. Someone needs to keep me back. It's Marfling. Marfling. The death this one. Grab him with an Aegis, remember? Call down. Already dropped. Drop him back. Rocket Barrage. So when's gonna go down? Few hits away, but he pops up his magic grand. Take a look at this fight first. Sana. The only way finally came out and melted down one guy. Wiper. Finish that Queen of Pain with his poison attack. Probably Commander Style trying to do a team fight here. Trying so hard to defend, they fought back, and that forced him TNC to fall back. Oh, okay, using the ultimate on the Kree when you can use. Catching the slow guy. Spirit Breaker, Vladimir, and Midas. Seems like a 1 5 for Team Blue J, but um, they lost the mid tower. Got 
Gyrocopter already got his BKB, 3.4k gold in his pocket, and he's just gonna go for a, a butterfly, I think. Because Mothman is not gonna buy a Monkey King bar, okay? Yep, I, I kinda like this Moth thing that he, he went for Mental Style instead of Petal Blade because Mental Style is actually more useful in, in, in pushing and, and also in team fight than Petal Blade. Petal Blade, you can only kill one guy, then what? You cannot do anything, all you can do is just strength Radiant's game and acting cool. Attack. Hey, dude, I can regen my HP. I don't know, man. I'm not a big fan of Ethereal Blade anyway, the shotgun morphing is great, but look at that mental star to dodge a form hammer! High technique! Dyer's middle barracks are under Going attack. straight for the racks! And when hammer storm... Oh, I don't know why he hammer storm on the fake one. Adaptive try, yeah, morphing then charge! Dropping a call down, where to raise the wall? There is a wall, and that is destroy everyone in Team Wu J. They're gonna lose at least one barracks here for sure. Triple kill for Raven, ultra kill for Levin for sure. Not yet, ooh, that was close. Then the Prophet got away. Raven was attacked by Swen, a support Swen doesn't have that much damage to do anything to Raven. Need to fall back a little bit. Morphing brought back a charge, maybe a badge. Nope. Locked down in a sprout, they still cannot take down the rack. But that is a good wombo combo from TPNC. Um, vacuum, call down, setting up the wall. Awesome, man. Force a buyback from Sven. 6.3k damage done from Gyrocopter. He now got 5.1k gold. I'm pretty sure next next item is going to be about an eye of Scotty. You wanna be more tanky. Wanna slow everyone down. That's quite good items too. gonna push in. It's gonna become a 5 versus 5 mid lane always after this. TNT knows that they cannot let the game long. They are more powerful now, so better to end the game right here. 2.5k HP for Gyrocopter. Now going straight for the rack. Wait for him in. Look at the damage coming out from the Gyrocopter. He tried to drain the HP back. Light steel. Already got the rack. And this, this, this guy is so tanky as well, the wiper. All the mental style, Marvin got another waveform, but he waved back. Actually, when dropping low, man, they cannot stand the damage of this gyrocopter. Look at the rocket barrage. And he also can slow with an eye of guarding. Strength gain. A charge on the Queen of Pain, he's about to blink. And Queen of Pain dropped a lot two core heroes. Got the rack. Got the heroes. Almost got the game. Now the next it should be they they should be pushing bottom to here. Ooh, it's a casualty, a fake B! And the fake B works! Unstoppable! Wuje thought that they already go back, so they jumped in again, vacuum, setting up the wall, and that's unstoppable. Gyrocopter. Going for the tower. Let's take a look at the buyback status. Marvin got buyback and he was forced to buy back. But I'm not sure he can do anything about this because they are outnumbered. They have to defense. 3 versus 4. Dropping a dead ward. Knight using his ultimate to stop the dead ward and kill. DP and back. 
He he is pushing bottom lane. Someone stuck over there and died. Shit, Breaker. Man, he got a lot of gold from that team fight. 3.6k gold for the Gyrocopter. Next one, of course, might be something like Butterfly. It's gonna be even worse for it. Or more, maybe just Stantinic, I think. To add more HP. One is he got Stantinic. This Gyrocopter we have like 3k HP. Plus the lifesteal. BKB. Mossing farm is getting slower and slower. He he stuck with the mental style and Lincoln's fear for, for like for a long time already. He wastes his money on on a buyback. And now he's just gonna go for Ethereal Blade. Not sure is that a good idea going for Ethereal Blade. It's obviously not enough to take out that um that gyrocopter. Gonna keep pushing bottom. It is really hard for Wu to come back in the game for now because they are so far behind in term in term of item in you know uh, XP. So what they need to do is just they need a real big good smoke. Get a get a team wipe. Maybe get some wards up around here. They need vision in their own NC. It would be great if they put the ward here and maybe here. Wave farming and just replicate away. Someone getting charged. Bottom lane, Queen of Pain. Rochan is online, guys. Just... Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Double damage, uh, grab an Asrock, what takes down a Gyrocopter, where is the race? where is support? Oh my god, <laughs> support not found, but however, these two core heroes can manage to kill Major Prophet. Only three guys from TNT, this show how strong Gyrocopter is, and a swap down, on uh, dropping a call down, Johnny is gonna be the next one to go down, uh, but BKB is almost there guys, TNT, almost there! Fall down for Team Wu J, and it's a GG call from Johnny. They fall behind. What you know? Most of the game, like 10, 10 minutes to twenty five minutes, belong to Team Wu J. They got very good gang, very good uh, GP down um, by by Naya Prophet, and very good farm morphing as well. And then everything had changed when they lost a big team fight. And that is it guys, congratulations to Team TNC Pro Team that proceed to the next round, the quarterfinals round, waiting for the winner for t from Team Forcey Parcher versus Team Redemption. Well, we are not done yet for today guys, we still got one more match. Team Forcey Parcher versus Redemption coming up in like 18 minutes. So I'm not gonna close the stream, I'm just gonna leave it right there and yeah, maybe playing some music. But now, 
like I always do, I'm gonna shoot you with some ass. 